gonna be all right. We'll come through this, all right? We'll see. How? Good question. Have a little faith, Mindy. Mr. Lewis, outside, now. Now! We gotta do something. That man's gonna kill Josh. No, not if I can help it. Now just be quiet and sit still. No, we've just do it. Oh. How did you do that? It's a special knot that Joshua and I created when we used to play cowboys and Indians with your daddy. It used to drive him crazy. Oh, oh honey. We've gotta call the police. No, we can't. The phone's dead. We're the only two who can help Joshua now. And now, guiding light. Look, if you're gonna kill me, I have a right to know why. You know too much already. Know too much about what? You just answer me, damn it! Oh. How's that for an answer? All right, fine. You got me here. You got me where you want me. Why don't you just go ahead and do it? Go ahead, shoot me. Unleaded. Less pollution. I mean, a situation like this calls for special care. What are you gonna do? You're gonna make this one look like an accident, too, just like the, the car crash in Springfield? Is that it? Why? Why not? <laughs> they say my job isn't creative. Will you just tell me who was trying to kill me? You know, you're just like your niece. She's very pretty, but she asks too many questions. It looks like. I'm gonna have to kill the whole lot of you to get any peace in your Whoa, 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 whoa. You wait a minute. You can do whatever you want with me, but you gotta let them go. You know, you seem to forget one thing. You're not in charge around here. Just let them go. They don't know anything. They know me! That's enough for a one-way ticket to paradise. No! You die first. Then the pretty ladies die too. <laughs> You, uh, you said you said before that if you don't kill me, somebody else will. Who? Won't be long now. Hey, if I'm going to die anyway, what difference does it make? It's a funny thing. But every time I kill a man face to face, they always want to know who and why. Like that's going to make it hurt less. What's the matter? you afraid to tell me? Is that it? Lewis, just die like a man. That's all I ask. So many go out crying like babies. I wouldn't give you the pleasure. Killing you is all the pleasure I need. You won't get away with it. I doubt that. No, they're going to know it was a hit. Let them. They're going to put the pieces together. They're going to know about the problems with Venezuela, the, the oil explosion, the car crash. Shut up! No, I will not shut up! If you're going to kill me, you go ahead and do it. What's the matter, huh? You can't stand the heat? I got away from you a couple of times. Your partner died the last time. I said shut no. up. No. If I die, it's going to be with my hand around your neck for killing my niece's husband. Oh, be he was a good man. He was a decent man. He had no right to take his life away from him. I wouldn't feel so sorry for him if I were you. You're going to burn to a cinder just like him. <laughs> Mindy, are you all right? Shoot him. Shoot him! He took away the only man I ever truly loved! And all for nothing! It's okay now. Joshua knows what he's doing. All right. You hurt one Lewis, you hurt us all. Now you're going to start talking to me. Right now. 
What do you want to know? Why all the accidents? Who's after me and why? I'm only following orders. Who's, damn it? You take care of Mindy. I'm going in. Well, you be careful. He might come, too. I hope he's dead. You got your wish. Good. Must have broken his neck in the fall. It's the best thing this wildcat pet ever did. Maybe Kirk could rest a little easier now. You all right? Yeah. My heart's still pounding by the time. What about you? You're lucky again, thanks to you and Mindy. No, Joshua, thanks to you. He's dead. I'm just glad I helped get him. That creep deserved to die for what he did to us. That Kurt. Do you think Kurt would have been proud of me? I'm sure he would have been. I was brave, wasn't I? He would have wanted that. A real trooper, darling. The way you rushed in here to save me. Thank you. I had to do something. It had to stop somewhere. What had to stop? Me and losing all the people I love. I just couldn't lose you too. Not after losing Kurt. I know this can't be easy for you. I'm so sorry. God, I miss him so much. And you know, no matter how long I live, or no matter what I do, I'll never see him again. I never even had a chance to say goodbye to him. This is the last few days catching up with him. I think we better get her home. Yeah. No, I'll be fine. Oh, come on, sweetie. I mean, look at these wrists. I've got to get you to Springfield so Ed can look at them. I can go by myself. I'll be okay. Well, I'm going to go with you anyway. Just being on the safe side. It's a good idea. The sooner the better. You stay here and rest. I'll go gather up your things. Oh, I'm glad you're alive. If anything would have happened to you when that oil rig blew up, Mindy, there's something I have to tell you. What? There's no easy way to say this, so I'm just going to come right out with it. The explosion that killed Kurt was meant for me. No. Yeah. I asked him to take over for me on my shift that night, and he agreed. It's the kind of man he was. I never thought... I don't blame you. I blame the scum that tried to kill you. The ones that sent the hitman. I hate him. I just hate him all. I hate him, too. And I'm gonna get him. I'll see them rot in jail for this, I promise you. 
I can't tell anybody about this. I can't even tell HB or Daddy. They'll want to help. No. They could get hurt in the process. I can't allow that. You can't tell anybody anything, even that you've seen me. You understand? Yeah, not even HB or Daddy. Darling, do you love me? Of course I do. Then you gotta swear to me that you keep quiet. If you talk about this, you'll be risking the lives of H.B. and Billy, not to mention mine. I swear I won't say a word then. It's a good girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm glad you're back. <laughs> I've missed you so much. I've missed you as much as I've loved you. That's an awful lot. I still wish you'd tell H.B. and Billy. We've, uh, I thought we had discussed this and decided the less people that know, the better. That was before that man tried to kill us. Involving innocent people could be very risky. Uncle Josh is right, Reva. We just have to trust him. He knows what he's doing. I just worry about you. I can handle anything that comes along. I have to be sure of that. You can be sure. It's settled. I just don't like the idea of you being here alone. I mean, what if somebody else comes after you? I can take care of myself. And besides, the, this guy's partner, the one who tried to run you down at Springfield, he was killed in a car crash. I should be safe for a while. And what about later on? I'm just going to hang out here for a while. I'm just going to try and get some thoughts together, try and figure out what my next move is going to be. Okay, I'm ready, Riva. I'll miss you. I'm gonna miss you, too. Thanks for everything. Okay. Well, let's go, Reva. I'll be right there. I guess this is goodbye. Will I be hearing from you? I don't know. I can't make any promises. I know. No guarantees. You better get a move on. Will I see you again? Do you want to? Joshua, you know that... <sighs> Melinda Sue is getting impatient. So what else is new? too much for the story you gave him, though. Yeah, but it uh, makes sense, though, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it makes sense, all right. Sure, some uh, dumb, city-fied hunter takes fall and breaks his neck. Happens all the time. You know, it would have been helpful, though, if that uh, hunter had had a gun with him at the time. Yeah, well, like you said, he was dumb. What's all this? Hunting equipment. Now, Jess, I've known you for a long time. A real long time. I think you're in over your head. I mean, this guy's a pro. Look at this stuff. It's obvious he wasn't working alone. No, he was obviously trying to contact somebody. But who? <laughs> Good luck figuring that out. Well, you know, it might be a little bit easier if I had some help. Oh, no, wait, wait a minute. I've done enough going along with this Hunter story. Oh, come on, Bob. You have plenty of time on your hands. Besides, I think you owe me one, don't you? Hey, wait a minute. You're not going to pull that up again, are you? I don't know. You think old man Roland never figured out who it was, huh? <laughs> hey, that was 15 years ago. Yeah, I think he's the mayor now, isn't he? I wonder if he'd still be mad at you after all this time. Come on. Well, I'm not fool enough to find out. What do you want me to do? Check this guy out a little bit. 
Keep it, uh, keep it real quiet, though. Find out who he was, who he was working for. You know, I could do it better officially. I mean, I'd find out more. It'd be a lot easier. I just have to keep things a, li a little... a little low right now. All right. Until I figure out what's going on. Whatever you want. Thanks. Look, uh, Josh, just one thing. Hmm. If you need somebody to ride shotgun, I'm available. Just give me a holler, huh? Uh... <laughs> I thought I told you to give those things up a long time ago. <laughs> I'm working on it. again leaving you behind like before I couldn't do it twice not when I didn't have to not when you're free to stay <laughs> <laughs> 